Okay, here we have a little hyperactive Renault Clio. I have to say this is a very tiring car to drive and it's tiring because it's like a standard Clio but with ADHD. Um, the car is constantly causing your body to jolt and vibrate and snap back and forth. Even changing in gear causes that effect. So if you're thinking of buying something that's going to be comfortable for whizzing around a town, you certainly don't want to go for this option because it's such an aggressive little car that you don't ever maintain or, or attain any level of comfort or relaxation driving it. Saying that though, it is a great little sporty car and it is good fun. Now I'm just going to start off with some basics. The interior is very basic, in fact it's quite cheap and gnarly. And the centre controls are all very simple here. You could actually physically operate every single thing on this without even taking your eyes off the steering wheel. Now let's do a 0-60. 3, 2, 1, go. Certainly quite a quick little car. Makes quite a bit of noise as well. Very tinny inside, you can hear everything. It's I really do feel like I'm I'm sitting in, in a car that's made out of something like uh, same sort of thick uh, same sort of thickness metal as you'd get in a beer can. I can hear everything, I can even hear that sparrow breathing on the tree across the road. It's that noisy, noise from the road, noise from the side, noise everywhere. Now, as I say, back to the interior. The interior is very cheap, very nasty. It's, it's it could have done with something a bit more exclusive on the inside. The only thing that's really different is the bucket seats. The wing mirrors, they're a bit too small, could be a bit bigger. The rear view vision, not too badly obstructed. You do have an annoying seat belt coming down off the headrest. I'm going to do the 0 60 test again, actually, because it probably wasn't the best start. I'll do it without a wheel spin now. Three, two, one, go. Sixty. Yeah, it's good fun to drive this car. It, it's, it is good fun, but it, it's tiring. I mean, I've got a backache now already. I've only been driving the car for an hour. Now, I'll give the steering a little bit of a test. Well, there's hardly any wiggle to the car. It doesn't roll or boat around. Steering's very responsive, not much lag there at all. I do feel like I'm in con uh, connecting with the road. Not that anaesthetised feeling you get with the power of steering of some cars. It certainly is responsive and it does strangely enough feel a little bit top heavy which is rather peculiar for such a small car. It would certainly be good fun to uh, throw around the corners this car but remember it is a front wheel drive and driving this car enthusiastically in the rain you're going to be spinning all over the place because the spins in the dry now you're going to have a lot of understeer and as far as the torque steer goes it's actually not that bad I must admit it's not that bad at all the best place to try that is coming out of the corner so as I come out of the corner now now we accelerate yeah, that's not too bad. I, I, I can't complain about that. Now that all that's left to do is try the brakes. I suspect these are going to be a bit crappy because the French don't really get the brakes right. But with a bit of luck, they might have sports brakes on this one. So we're not doing an emergency stop, just a firm brake. Three, two, one. Yeah, they're rubbish. It's like putting your foot up against a brick wall. There's no ability to apply a gradual pressure at all. It's either on or off. And to be fair, yeah, it, it's just solid. It's it's not nice at all. In fact, it, it feels like drum brakes, even though it won't be at the front. At least it's it's not a good feeling. That well, basically, what we have here, as far as I am concerned, is a standard Clio, probably with uh, sportier shocks on, and it's just got a bigger engine thrown in. Uh, does it work well? Oh, it's hard to say, it's hard to say. In some ways it's good, in some ways it's bad. 
But to be fair, this isn't an age thing. If I had a choice between driving this and a, and a regular Clio, I would much rather go for the regular Clio because with the regular Clio, I might just be able to drive the car without giving myself a headache from all the noise and making myself sick through motion sickness from all the jolting around. I mean, this car actually causes you to jolt when you put it in gear, not just coming out of gear. So this is going to be for the fans only this one but if you're thinking about buying one take one for a test drive and if you do take one for a test drive take it for a test drive in the wet because i reckon if you take it for a test drive in the wet you won't buy the damn thing